welcome. We are here in Spiedan <laughs> at Groenland in Stockholm. Uh, and this is like a little broadwalk park, as you call it. Very dense, very amusement ride heavy. And we've already been on a few things today. We're joined by Zoe's brother, James. <laughs> James, you're going to talk to us about our first ride, which is right behind you. That thing. Yeah. How did you find that? It was alright, yeah. I know a guy next to me didn't really like it. No. But, um, Zoe didn't like it. Made my experience better. So. Yeah, yeah. You hated it. It was awful because it swings. So even though you're going like round, it doesn't. You don't know where you're going to swing. So it's a 4D coaster. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, it's it spins by it itself. Spins like all over the place. I'd done one before. Um, I thought that one was going to be better. It's so forceful going through some of the turns. It's just not. A, it's just not comfortable. I think we'll have to do it again because we didn't get too much spinning. But still, no. Second ride was Icarus behind us, which is <laughs> this huge, huge drop tower. Absolutely huge. And when you get to the top, you tilt forward so you're facing the ground. James was fine all the way up. You, you weren't scared. He was a brave man. It's all like, it's all like composure at the end of the day. Yeah. Zoe hated it, had her eyes closed. I hate drop towers and that was like another level of it. I literally shut my eyes the whole time. I opened them a smidge when we turned and then I was like, no, shut them again. I hated it going up the top. When we were at the top and we tilted forwards, I really hated it. Harry, Harry wouldn't stop swearing. I actually wouldn't, he's right. I, I was just swearing, but then as soon as it started to drop, I was loving it. So definitely have to go on that one again, uh, and maybe even insane the 4D poster again. But uh, two rides done in very uh, quick amount of time. Let's get on some more. Circle. We've been on a few rides and now we're exactly where we were when we first recorded. So what have we done? Did the Wild Mouse? Yeah. Alright, yeah, it's pretty good for a Wild Mouse. Which one was that? The, the one over there. Yellow. That one. Oh yeah. yeah. You like that one? Yeah, it's yeah. It was right. quite funny. I thought it was gonna be more janky than it was, so. Yeah, it was pretty good for a Wild Mouse. Yeah. Then it was on to Twister, the wooden roller coaster. Yep. You thought it was going to be rough? I thought it was going to be really rough, but then when I saw the restraints, I was like, okay, maybe it won't be. But it kind of was, but it was good. It was it was fierce, fast, and quite whippy in some of the sections. Really compact. Some of the turns, I'm surprised that it could even get round. You know, a wooden coaster could even get round that. James, what do you think about that one? I was so wet. Yeah. It was so wet. It started raining the moment that we got on it, and uh, it was pretty wet. I had to star my hair because it got completely ruined by all the rain and the wind. Um, but then, after Twister, the wooden coaster by Gravity Group, our first Gravity Group coaster, so tick that one off the list, it was onto Jetline, which was a Swashkoff sit down coaster, whatever. And uh, it was surprisingly smooth. I really liked it. The only thing was, because it was raining, I couldn't see, so that I couldn't anticipate the turns, but it was really good. Yeah, that's my favourite. Yeah, it's, it's my favourite one so far as well. It's uh, something about it. It's just the speed that it manages to carry through some of the elements. I mean, all of the rides here are relatively compact. We had fun on that one. We did have fun on that Sun one. Sun Harry. Yeah. It's good. Heard him scream. You did. Yeah, we did. But um, no, all the rides here are relatively compact, and I think that adds to it mostly. I, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Anyway, James has requested that we go on this uh, fun house next. So that's next on the list. And then it's on to pick up the final few credits. So uh, here you go. So James's idea to go on the uh, fun house was probably the best thing we've done so far, I, I would have thought. What about you, James? What can I say? You're a solid, idea you're an ideas man. Eh? Yeah. Ideas yeah. man. Yeah. 
It was good. I don't know what it was. It was just filled with so many different... I think it was more entertaining watching Zoe, to be honest. Yes. Zoe was not very good. It was hard to walk through some of the stuff. I don't know how much footage you got of it. It's quite but a lot. Some of it was very difficult. It's hard to walk when you don't put one foot in front of the other, though. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do it properly when you don't do it properly, you know? That's, that's the thing. But, uh, no, it was just so fun. There were so many different things, so many different moving platforms, and the finale was this... You get on a carpet and you slide down this fantastic classic. slide. It, it was a classic. It was. Yeah. It was a fantastic ending. So love that. A then real we happy did ending, yeah. a, a real happy a ending. Really happy yeah. Ending. Then we did the red coaster. And you like that, that was one? quite nice. It was really smooth. So really smooth. Your second favorite, the red coaster. Yes. I don't yeah. know what it's called, but it's red. It's the red one. The red one. The big red one. Yeah. It was nice and smooth. It was smooth. Yeah. There it was. You go. It was yeah. It's as smooth as the other one. It's not smooth, actually. Yeah, it was. It, it was smooth. It was very floaty, very kind of. I would. Yeah. I'd describe it as smooth. Would you really? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You've, you've heard it here first. And that was the first kind of a Vacoma, like family suspended coaster that yeah. we've done. So I liked it. It's yeah. good. It's good. Solid ride. Solid ride. If you like smooth coasters, then it's for you. Yeah. yeah. There you so, go. This is what you want to go to. But now it's time to finish off with some more drop towers. We've got two more drop towers, an Intamin one and an SNS shot tower. So we're gonna go on those two and then it's just film some of the park and maybe get on some rewrites, some of the cool stuff that we've enjoyed so far. Since we last spoke, we've only done two things. We've been on the drop tower, Zoe didn't go on that because it's the worst, but James, what do you think of the drop tower? It's good, man, yeah. Yeah? It's a uh, tamer than the other one, but... Most definitely. I wasn't as scared on that one, was I? No, you were uh, refrained from shooting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and James in the photo, we, we were calm and collected, but the two other people in the photo looked like they were about to die. So, bless them. Yeah, it was good. It was an intermediate drop tower, quite forceful, nice little drop. Wasn't too bad. Then we did um, Jetliner again, solid ride, but in the queue, I rubbed my eye and I lost one of my contact lenses. So, so now I'm half blind. It's going well. It's really going well, which obviously isn't, isn't good at all. So I can't see out of my left eye at all, which is bad. But that's a bit about it. I think in a minute I'm gonna go and just uh, grab some footage of the park, get some footage of all the rides and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll hit up some other re-rides and call it a day. That's it. We're done. We did multiple rewrites. Um, you two went on Twister again. Did you like that back row? Oh, a, yeah. nice, a nice bit of uh, yeet, as I called it. <laughs> we did get yeeted. And then I went on insane again. And about it. Oh, and we. Yeah, we went in the house. We went in the haunted house again. Yeah. It wasn't as funny because Zoe wasn't there. I thought it was laugh at Zoe. Yeah, you, last time you laughed at Zoe because she was so bad. But this time we didn't have that chance. Still good though, still good. Uh, but yeah, no, that wraps up our day. Overriding thoughts of this part? Zoe, you got some? I like it. It reminds me of Leesburg, but it's like small and compact version of it. Everything's like really good. All the food's really good. All the stuff looks amazing. I just need like a big ride, like a flagship ride. Yeah, no, it's good, man. Yeah. You had a good time? Yeah, um, I'd say uh, it's nice and, uh, as I said, compact. Uh, they've done well. What else we can have, I say? We have done Which was your favourite ride? My favourite? Um, well, I like the blue one. Jetline. Jetline, uh, Jetline. Yeah. I'm never doing Icarus again. The house was funny. But again, it's just, so yeah. No, it's a quality, quality little place. Great for the kids, nice day out. So. At this park, you pay for entry, which is cheap, and then you pay per tickets to get on the rides. Or you have a wristband. Show us your wristband. Or you have a wristband. 
So it is good for children because you know you can just come in and do all the kiddie rides that have to faff around with all the rest of it. And if not everyone wants to go on something, that's fine, you've got your tokens. But no, as Zoe said, it's a really nice park, really clean. I love the aesthetic, it's really nice. It's obviously not themed, it's not really a theme park, but it's some of the designs of the areas are really quite nice. I'm happy about it, I like it. It's a really good park. Glad we came, definitely would recommend. That's it, we're outside, everything's done. Um, we didn't say our favourite ride, Zoe. Your favourite ride here was? Uh, what? Mine was Jetline. Well, uh, Zoe thinks about it, that swash cough was great, forceful, smooth, very, very fun. Zoe? I like the red one. The, red, the one? red one? Whatever the... The smooth the red, red one. one. Yeah, the Vacoma suspended coaster, yeah. you like that the one? Yeah. one? The smooth red. It was smooth, man. Yeah. Smooth. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a great visit. Love this park. Definitely, if we're in Stockholm, maybe come back at some point. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.